position. 61 inches. Number 23. Lou Williams. At small forward. At 6 foot 9 inches. Number 13. Paul George. The other forward. 6 feet 7 inches. Number 2. Kawhi Leonard. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Moments away, it'll be the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Denver Nuggets. Along with Steve Smith and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlow and our friend on the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. You'll be hearing from shortly. D.A., it's all yours. Well, Coach Mike Malone had this to say about his understated superstar, Nikola Jokic. Malone said he's truly beloved by all his teammates. No ego, a little bit goofy, doesn't take himself too seriously. And with his success, he's still the same kid. That's why everybody cares about him and respects him. Kevin? The Nuggets, lucky to have you. Thanks, David. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Craig is the three and Millsap the four. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And it's Jokic in at the five. And for the Clippers... Under down low at four with Harrell in the middle. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's George in at the small four. Smitty, we have great athletes on the floor in this one. Shouldn't be any shortage of some highlight reel type play. Yeah, this game, nobody will make my segment under the rim. Smitty's under the rim. Everything will be <laughs> above the rim tonight. I'm excited. So the Clippers win the tip. Here's Beverly, passes it to Harrell. He kicks it to Williams. George looking over the floor. Clock is at three. Shoots from the elbow. Jokic grabs the miss. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Here's Craig. Count it. Craig's got his team on the board to start the game for Denver. And the fireworks begin. Should be an amazing show tonight. How good is it to see the first one go through the net? Beverly. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. To the paint. Out to Harris. The pass to Murray. All alone. It's hauled in by the Clippers. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pass to Harold. Back to Beverly. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Here's Leonard. Los Angeles with another miss. 0 for 3 now in the early going. Just a little bit out of sync. Outside Millsap. Pass to Jokic. Passes to Murray. Denver needs to get off his shot. Harris's shot is off. Clippers have gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Here's Leonard. Oh! by Leonard. Well, we know Leonard's an elite two-way machine, but there he shows us the artistry. Nuggets are gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Beverly against Murray. Great D that time from Harold. He is so good attacking the rim. It's rare to see him denied like that. The shot by George, no good. Just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. For three, Harris. Paul George grabs the miss. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And George with the stuff. 
And I just love the aggressiveness from George, just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. And perhaps the most shocking news of the NBA offseason, Greg, the trade of Paul George. Nobody saw that coming. Took a ransom of draft picks to get him off the Thunder. Why Leonard recruited him to join him on the Clippers and Paul obliged by demanding a trade. Came together quickly and, and caused a major power shift in the West. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Beverly. At the elbow, Williams. Rejected by Harris. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Millsap. No finesse that time. Millsap attacking the rim. And Beverly kicks to Harold. Now the pass to George. Beverly against Murray. And it's Beverly missing. Denver's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Harris against Williams. Harris misses. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. It's good. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now, here's Jokic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Murray left side. Harris outside. Six on the shot clock. From the arc. Sinks the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's George. Fires it up. That one wide left. Denver's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Pass to Craig. Back to Murray. Down low. Here's Millsap. And how about the transition from Paul Millsap? Going away from that star role to be more of a role player here in his later years. No longer needed to carry the torch, if you will, in terms of scoring and rebounding. But he can still give you just a bit of everything else at this stage. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And he was 73% from the line a season ago. An average number in that regard. And the first one at the line is good. And it's fair to say that Millsap has been very underrated throughout his career. A, a versatile, tenacious forward who quietly destroys whoever he plays. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Clippers with the ball. It's a three-point game. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Williams, that's for two. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic just got six rebounds here tonight. And with Bill Sapp, you can just see him contribute in so many ways. I mean, a great passer for his position and also very unselfish with his offense. Still a plus defender with how often he is giving up size on the inside. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. The Nuggets have had two chances at the line already, making them both.
Free throw, good. Jokic. Well, you know, you watch Nikola Jokic out there, and he just moves like a guard. The way he approaches the game, sees the court, and shoots just on found in that center position. And already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Millsap finds Murray. Here's Jokic. Over Williams. And the shot is long. You know, Greg Jokic has so many tools at his disposal. He's a walking triple-double threat. The, the passing and vision is what really sets him apart at that center position. The, the offense can run through him and should run through him with how he can distribute the ball. Now here's Murray. Following the miss by Lou Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. And Murray. Here we go. Rebound by the Clippers. Williams up on top. He's covered by Murray. Williams passes to Leonard. To end the run. And that's two points on the layup. Attacking, trying to get good looks. Give Kawhi credit. He finds one. Beverly against Murray. But they'll get another chance. Here's Millsap. An easy two points on the layup. Millsap's got six points. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now, here is George. Back to Leonard. Pass to Harrell. Kicks it to Leonard. Over Millsap. And it's Leonard missing. The Nuggets now on offense. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Harris. And no good that time. Excellent D there from Williams. Four on three break. Leonard the pass to Williams. Let's a floater go. Chalk up two there. It took him a while, but he finally gets one to fall. Denver calls timeout. The emphasis on freedom of movement, less grabbing and holding on the perimeter, Steve, has made some players almost impossible to defend. Yeah, James Harden, because he likes to be physical, and it's how can you not guard him without being physical in return. Steph Curry, because he gets the opening shoot shots. Lillard, Kyrie, Devin Booker, Giannis, Kevin Durant for sure. It's hard to guard these guys because they're so good on the offensive end. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Zubox is checked in for Harrell. Green comes in for Leonard. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Lou Williams. Now here's Porter. Barton surveying the floor. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Nuggets lead by seven. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. And Beverly kicks to Zubox. Passes it to Shamit. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Barton outside. And it's sent back by George. Now here's Beverly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Poked loose. Beasley against Beverly. Porter in the corner. Barton outside. Another three for Denver. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Clippers trail by eight. Beverly the pass to Zubac. Now, here's Shannon. Over Beasley. Here's Zubats. Over Plumley. That one misses. And the Nuggets going the other way. Barton outside. A 
chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Clipper. Trailing here by eight. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. That'll put Paul George on the line. That one on Porter. And what was more fun to watch last season than Patrick Beverly checking Kevin Durant in the playoffs? Patrick Beverly's energy and fight gave the Clippers a chance every night. Obviously, the Warriors' talent won out, but the Clippers made them work every step of the way. Denver leading by five. Beasley outside. Martin against Beverly. Grant kicks to Plumlee. Shot clock at five. Here's Beasley. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Shamit finds Beverly. Nice open look, but it's no good. Denver's gone three of six, 50% from deep so far tonight. Beasley, the pass to Barton. In the corner, it's Plumley. Off target from outside. Clippers trail by five. The feed to George. And he finishes nicely on the way. George has got nine points. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And here's Barton. He's got six. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter. Grant kicks to Barton. Poked away. Stolen by George. And now the fast break. George with the ball. Gets it to drop. And now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. Shots are just flowing for him right now. Having a really strong quarter. Beverly against Barton. And the pass to Plumlee. Back to Barton. Shot clock at six. And there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That'll be his second foul of the game. He was too aggressive. That's already his second foul. We haven't even gotten out of the first quarter. Here's Morris. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Offensive rebound. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Nuggets lead by one. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Nikola Jokic, a former second-round pick, turned star in the league, talks about what the game means to him. Basketball, like passion, love. Like, that is the thing I play, like, when I know four, six, seven years old, I don't know. Like, basketball is always in my life. That, like, I think it's passion. I think it's passion. In basketball, Greg, a big deal in Jokic's native land of Serbia. And I love his creativity. There's an artistry and a freedom in how he plays the game. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys, what are your thoughts? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Williams and Shamit are the guard set. Ibiza Zubox is out there with Jermichael Green. And it's George in at the three. The small forward. Draws contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That's going to put Mason Plumley at the free-throw line. That one on George. The Nuggets shooting their fourth attempt at the free-throw line right here. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. Shooting. 
And Smitty, for teams that tend to go deep into the playoffs year after year, season after season, it, it, it takes, I'm assuming, a mental toll uh, as well as a physical toll. It does. And that mental toll is just as hard as that physical toll on your body and your mind. And I think for teams that have great leadership and development of those young guys that can play some of those minutes, they usually bowl well. Denver in the lead. On the wing, Morris. Defended by George. Back to Morris. Barton outside. And the shot goes in. Barton's got his third basket of the night right there. A lost art in this game. Terrific bounce pass. Here's Williams. Lumley with some nice D. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now here's Barton. He's got eight. Here's Grant. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And after that ragged first quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Leonard, he's checked in for Paul George. And Denver also making a switch. Jokic is checked in. And the Clippers have possession. Six-point game. Pass to Zubats. Now Green. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. To Michael Green with the height and the bounce to do some damage inside. Barton outside. Williams comes with a double team. Beasley with a clean look. Good on the triple. Beasley's got himself on the board with three there. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. They get a hand on it. And Morris comes over to help. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And so here's Denver. And Morris has got the ball here for Denver. They lead by seven. Dishes to Beasley. Inside, here's Grant. And the rejection by Zubats. Jokic against Williams. Feeds to Leonard. And the layup's good off the glass. Leonard's got six. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Williams comes with a double team. Grant. Surveying the D. Just five to shoot. And it goes down two points. And the Nuggets lead by seven. I mean, it's just fun to sit back and enjoy watching him operate. And that's what it looks like the D was doing as well. They're just sitting back and watching. Well, if it's a Zubats, may not block a lot of shots, but uh, Spitty, he is still a solid defender. What Zubats does is a great job of challenging players at the rim and provides great help from the weak side. He does rack up a lot of defensive fouls, but hopefully that decreases with time. The free throw drops for Zubats. Harrell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Big group substitution here for Denver. Paul Millsap's checked in for Jeremy Grant. Torrey Craig comes in for Barton. Gary Harris, he's checked in for Malik Beasley. And it's Jamal Murray in for Monte Morris. Both shots good from the strike. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. For three, Harris, it's good from long range. He has six. I don't think the defense had any idea what they were doing there. 
Clear miscommunication leading to an easy basket for the offense. Here's Williams. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. I have to respect how Lou plays. Wiry strong. No stranger to the plus one. Greg, I'm just so impressed with the level of finesse and craftiness that Lou Williams always plays with. And Kevin, you don't stay a perennial six-man of the year candidate at, at Williams' age without having more than a few tricks up your sleeve. He, he's so good in tight spaces and can find a way to get a shot up where others just have to kick it out. On the free throw, no good. And Steve, some classic shoe brands making a return to the NBA with updated version. Smitty, what was your sneaker of choice back in the day? Kevin, that's funny. I started off with the pumps, the double pumps, and then I ended up with a shell toe low top. And then now you see all the youngsters now wearing low tops. They used to tell me back in the day, low tops were not good for your ankles. But I didn't really jump that high, so I was okay. Now, Harris, Kawhi Leonard missing from long range. Jokic with it, shoots over Zubats, and it's Denver scoring again. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. Pass to Harold. Pass to Shamit. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Murray. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Lou Williams. And I have just been so impressed with the way Jamal Murray has added to his game. Keeps pushing himself every offseason to make the most of his abilities as a player and continues to be a consistent threat from the outside. And he makes the first. And with Murray, Greg, you forget how young he is. He entered the NBA right out of his freshman year at Kentucky. I mean, Murray was taken seventh in his draft and has kind of flown under the radar from that class. But the more you watch him, the more you feel like you're seeing a star in the making. And so Murray nails both of them. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. There's Shamit. It's hauled in by Jokic. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. The pass to Harris. Murray against Williams. Murray, good. Murray's got the lead up to 10 now for Denver. And even at six foot five, Murray just elevates high inside for these buckets. A high percentage shooter down low. Now here's Shamit. Here's Zubats, fades away and sinks the tough shot. Denver leading by eight. Murray kicks to Harris. Now Murray. Pass to Jokic. Back to Murray. The 11-footer. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. Shamit on the wing. Pass to Harold. And it's good for two. What a great shot. This is why Harold shoots over 60% for his career. Murray kicks to Crank. Passes it to Jokic. Millsap trying to get open. Again, the Nuggets score. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Clippers trail by eight. Side Williams. Second chance shot. And it's Zubats laying it in. Zubats has got six. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. To the inside. 
And Jokic with the basket on the assist by Murray. Murray's got three assists tonight. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. change here. Beverly's checked in and a switcher also for Denver. Porter's checked in for Torrey Craig. Beverly against Murray. And the foul on Jamal Murray. That's foul number two for him. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Here's Harold. To the wing on the left. Zubat kicks to Beverly. Lock at six. Nobody near Leonard. That three off the mark. Denver leading by eight. And stolen by Harrell. Leonard against Millsap. Here's Zubats. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Effort play pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. Murray surveying the D. Here's Porter. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his fourth assist in this one. A pure shooter who's also efficient. Porter nearly automatic from mid-range. Beverly finds Shamit. Back to Beverly. Here's Shamit. Now here's Beverly. No points in the game yet for him. Just four to shoot. He gets that one. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Murray. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. The first one falls. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. George is checked in for Zubox. Plumley is checked in for the Nuggets. And so Murray nails both of them. And Murray has it all. A deadly shooter and a remarkable penetrator. Terrific guard play. Outside, George. Humley with the steal. For three, Harris. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got five assists tonight. Starting to heat up now. He nailed one from behind the arc in the first quarter. Two here in the second. Bounce pass from Beverly. Elbow shot is on the way. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Leonard. You know, there's a rhythm to Leonard's game, but also an awareness. Just takes what the defense allows. Here's Millsap. Rebound by Harold. 
And here's Beverly. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Shamit. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Left side, Harris. Right side, Millsap. Inside. Five on the clock. He kicks the court. Harris inside the line. Here's Millsap. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Montrez here. And once Millsap is that deep, hard not to come away with a foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. He misses the free throw. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for the Clippers. And Denver also making a switch. Morris is checked in. And the second free throw, good. 136 left to play here in the half. And Morris comes over to help. Well, you talk about someone who's an absolute piranha on defense, and that is Patrick Beverly. He gives you no room to get comfortable and is a thorn in his assignment side. First one falls for him. And Smitty with Beverly and his defense, it's not like he turns it on or off. Nope, he's always going full speed on defense. It's been his calling card as a player for years now. And it's what he's made his name on in the NBA. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Denver. He hits both from the strike. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Murray dishes to Plumlee. Kicks it to Morris. We've got 118 left to play in the first half. Deflects the pass. And stolen by Harrell. An even three-on-three -three break. There's the pass to Beverly. Now here's Harrell. And here's George. He's got 13. Shot clock at six. Count it. And the Nugget lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Harrell. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Morris with the ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. To the middle. Great D that time from Harrell. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Green. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. George against Murray. A shot. No good on the last second attempt there. And that's why he's one of the best two-way wings out there. George will lock you down on D. And it takes a very special effort to get off a clean shot against him. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Denver on top. They're up by two. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. 
And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jim Smith. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. They were able to squeeze ahead by the end of the period with just a one-point lead. They had a slight edge on the scoreboard in the second quarter, but only by the slimmest of margins. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, their reserves showed up tonight. Not just on hustle plays, but in points. And that's what you got to do coming off the bench to maximize your minutes. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Paul George in this game, guys. He, he's been everywhere. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And Murray's got the ball here for the Nuggets. Second half underway. Here's who Mike Malone's got on the floor. He'll zap and Jokic, the big men. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. And it's Craig in at the three slot. The Clippers trail. Here's George. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's their third straight make off an assist. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I'll bring the rapid ascension of Nikola Jokic into NBA stardom has been nothing short of amazing. You know, he really is an elite center now. I mean, he's the best player on a very talented young team in the West. I would not be surprised to see him win an MVP in the next few years. Free throw, good. Jokic. Jokic drops them both. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting an efficient 53% from the field. Now Harold. Pass to George. Takes a shot at the elbow. Jokic grabs the miss. Denver's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. 
Here's Harold. The Nuggets getting the bucket. And stolen by Murray. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Murray with the ball. Millsap down low. He's covered by Leonard. Millsap misses. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Here's Harris following the score by Lou Williams. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Craig passes to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Here's Murray. The shot that time, not on target. Excellent D there from Jordan. The feed now to Leonard. He's now made half of those ten shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Murray outside. Here's Millsap. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Millsap's got his third bucket of the night. Paul Millsap gives you very solid play on both ends, and he knocked down that short jumper. Outside, George lets it go from deep. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic is... Harris against George. On the wing, Harris. Nine points in the game so far. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. And one thing you have to love about Gary Harris, the way he can explode to the rim. And Harris is a natural scorer from all parts of the floor, but he can just rocket himself for dunks. You aren't used to seeing from players of his size and stature. Will Barton, he's checked in for Jamal Murray. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Now, here is George. He's guarded closely. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Here's Barton. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That free throw good from Barton. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Beasley's checked in for Tory Craig. Free throw is good from Barton. Here's Beverly. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Leonard, the open look. No good again that time. Denver leading by six. Harris with it. George picks him up and stolen by Harrell for the finish. And it's George finishing it off. And hustle paid off there for George in the open court. Gets up court in a flash and finishes before the D can even react. Now here's Beasley. Now here's Barton. Pass to Jokic. Beasley with it. six to shoot. He kicks to Barton. A fader. It's rebounded by Lou Williams. And it's Williams with the ball for Los Angeles. Trailing by four. Here's Leonard. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Gary Harris. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. And maybe the biggest story of this summer. Where would Kawhi Leonard be headed 
in free agency. A, a player of his caliber commands that kind of media scrutiny. Los Angeles making a switch here. Zubats has checked in. And that one misses. Greg, you talk about the media focus for Kawhi Leonard. Not exactly something he embraces. Not at all. As a kid on his birthdays, he'd shutter himself in his room because he didn't want the attention. To this day, he lets his play do the talking. The Clippers have gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Williams passes to Leonard. Nobody near George. And the Clippers miss again. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Here's Millsap. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Underrated the strength of Millsap. Able to power through. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Los Angeles making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. Clippers trail by five. They double him with Barton. And the call up against Jokic. That's foul number two for him. On defense, the Nuggets. They've led by as many as 11 points. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Now here's Barton. He's got 10. Jokic kicks to Barton. Takes the 13-footer. The shot will not fall. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Beverly, the pass to Shamit. Jokic against Zubac. In the corner, George with it. Clock at four. The pass to Shamit. Here's Beverly. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. To the paint. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Beasley comes with the double team. Zubac finds George. Clippers moving the ball around. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. When defending Patrick Beverly, it's hard to match his level of energy and activity. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Patrick Beverly. Two shots. That's good from Beverly. A really good second round pick out of Arkansas. Beverly fits perfectly in that three and D roll. Grant, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Both free throws, good from Beverly. The Nuggets leading by three. Beasley outside. Pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. To the left side wing. Grant gets a wide open look. His three pointers off the mark. For Los Angeles, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Here's Beverly and stolen by Barton. Let's it go from 14. to Shamit. And here is Zubats. 
Eight points for him. Beasley with the steal. Barton outside. Passes it to Jokic. Beasley outside. And again, Denver no good. Clippers trail by three. Shannon fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. It was a busy rookie season for Landry Shaman. He got off to a hot start in Philadelphia, but was traded near the deadline to the Clippers. Slotted in as they started there and looked great. Green, he's checked in for the Clippers. And then for Denver, Plumlee, he's checked in for Jokic. And Monte Morris subbed in for Paul Millsap. It's tied up with that one. And last year for Shamit, even with the trade from Philadelphia, that's still very productive. The reason why the shooting from outside is what jumps out at you. Rarely do you ever see a rookie come in and shoot over 40% from deep like Shamit did. Now here's Barton. He's got 10. And there's the pass to Plumley. A three-pointer off the mark. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And George kicks to Beverly. There's the double team with Grant. Beverly against Morris. For the lead. They get it back. And that one is good from Zubox. Zubox has got the lead up to two now for the Clippers. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now, here is Morris. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Plumley, the pass to Morris. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. For Los Angeles, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Here's Beverly. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Beverly's got four points now in the quarter. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Martin dishes to Plumlee. Two points. That one goes. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. Denver making a switch here. Porter's checked in. Good from Plumley. Shamit with it. He's got nine. Outside, George. Porter with the steal. Three on three. Grant outside. Back to Beasley. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Here's Morris. Finished off the break. And the Nuggets lead by one. And not just a score, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. Shamit. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. It's really a, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. For Los Angeles, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. First free throw is good. I'm Trez Harrell. He's checked in for Zubox. And Denver with a change here, too. Murray's checked in for Beasley.
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The Nuggets trail. Murray, the pass to Grant. On the wing, Morris. No good that time. Great D that time from Harold. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Doubled by Plumley, And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. So it's Denver now. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting 35% or so in the third quarter. Whatever they're trying is not working. Murray left side. Pass to Plumley. Six on the shot clock. Morris inside. Defended by Beverly. Morris with the bucket. Morris has got four points this quarter. As we approach the fourth quarter, still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, neither team able to create much of a cushion. Shamit hits it from three-point range. And the Clippers lead by two. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. Here's Murray. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Murray's got eight points. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. There's the triple. And it's Shamit missing. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. 34 seconds left to play in the third. A three from Morris. Rebound by the Clippers. In the corner. Shamit with it. 19 seconds left here in the third quarter. Good on the shot. When he's not shooting threes, you'll find Patrick Beverly at the rim. Got to run the clock and wait for the last shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? On the wing, Morris. Three-pointer. That shot off. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Clippers lead by two. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. Jamichael Green is out there with Paul George. And Harrell's in at the pivot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Green, no luck. And really, that is why he is feared as a defender. Right in your face on that shot. Moved his feet, timed it perfectly. That's how you get stops. Love it. Here's Craig. 
Wide open look here for Murray. Drills it from outside. And the Nuggets lead by one. Have to respect the range of Murray. He just nails shots from this distance. And that one's good. Beverly. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Grant outside. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Williams comes with a double team. Here's Craig. No good with the triple. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Nobody near Williams. And right through it goes. And it looks so easy for him. Lou Williams with the sweet looking J. Morris looking over the floor. Down low. Here's Grant. That one, no good. Great tee that time from Green. To the middle. Here's Harold. A shot's good on the assist by Jordan. Harold's got the lead up to five now for Los Angeles. Here's Murray. Banked in off the glass. Murray's got five points now in the quarter. And the D has no answer for Murray. Just absolutely ferocious at attacking the basket. Harold finds William. Pass to Green. Outside, George launches a three. Buries the long-range jumper. George has got ten points in just the second half. And guys, when George gets cooking, you are in for a long night. He's just fantastic at finding different ways to score. Now here's Plumley. Good on the bucket. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Los Angeles leading by four. Now Williams passes it to Beverly. On the wing, Green. Shot clock at six. There's the pass to Beverly. Rebound by the Nuggets. Plumley's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Murray. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him five for 12 so far. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. Outside, George. Murray against Williams. That shot off the mark. Now Denver takes it the other way. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Grant outside. Here's Murray. No good. That would have tied it. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. And guys, he saw his chance to earn a little camera time there and took uh, it. Ah, rocking the rim with some major force. Anytime you get an opportunity to show off a little bit, you have to take it. Denver calls timeout. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late-game push. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Big group substitution here for Denver. Jokic has checked in for Plumlee. Millsap comes in for Grant. Martin's checked in for Torrey Craig. And Harris subbed in for Monte Morris. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys, will Mike Malone talk to his team during that last timeout? He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, pass it around. See if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Four-point game. Count that one. 14 points for Leonard. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. Murray, the pass to Millsap. Knocked 
loose, stolen by Beverly. And now here comes Williams leading the break. George, that's a two-pointer. That one a little long. The Nuggets trail by six. And that one's good, Barton. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. Williams outside. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Now here's Millsap. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Shamit's checked in. That one misses. He hits the second from the line. And it's the Clippers with the ball. Three-point lead. Williams looking over the floor. Little turnaround. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Williams. Williams has got four assists now tonight. The Nuggets have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Harris with it. Leonard picks him up. Here's Jokic. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. At the end of the day, when the ball goes up, there's no substitute for effort. Williams dishes to Harrell. And it's sent back by Jokic. Murray against George. Murray outside. Pass to Harris to tie it up. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Leonard. And he banks in the lane. Leonard's got six in the quarter. The Nuggets trail by five. Deep two from Murray. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. What a huge boost he's giving them here. Four or five in this fourth quarter has come up big. Inside, Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Talented, opportunistic. When Leonard gets hot, it can last for long stretches. Barton outside. Back to Murray. Pass to Millsap. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got assist number seven for him tonight. Smart play call. Paul Millsap, deadly once he gets the ball inside. Now here's Williams. Passes to Harrell. And Harrell shoves it in. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Jokic against Harrell. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just three on the basket for Millsap. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Denver's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Now the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. And here's Harris from the arc. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. George has got six rebounds now in the game. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. And Leonard gets it to go. Man, 
have they been effective at getting the ball inside? Feeds it to Barton. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. down the first one. Both free throws good from Barton. Clippers leading by five. And the Clippers call time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Kawhi Leonard. Sensational game for him in terms of shooting efficiency. He's taken nothing but high percentage shots. That's how he's managed to hit over 60% from the field. I mean, making just about everything he's looked at. Harold kicks to George. Pass to Williams. Double team on Williams. Tipped away. Just five on the clock. Murray, the pass to Harris. And it's sent back by Leonard. Yeah, that shot gets jacked. Great anticipation by the ball. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And he gets it to go. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus even as the game's gotten tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. The Nuggets with the ball. They trail by seven. Williams against Murray. Kicks it to Barton. Pocket six. The Nuggets with another miss. Low percentage shot from long range. Terrible decision. Especially when you still have a chance to win this. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. And that one's good, Jordan. Kawhi has all the physical gifts, and the one thing I love, he really can pass. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Williams against Murray. Here's Jokic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Montrez here. Oh, the officials are all over that one.
Good on the first, and that brings them to within 10. unable to get the second one no way he is happy with himself right now he knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game Williams gets to here to the inside George laid in with a nice touch off the glass George has got the lead up to 12 now for Los Angeles and these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge tonight it will be a win by a large margin for the Clippers I think the attitude was very impressive definitely a competitive game and they fought through it each step of the way absolutely they put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity this was a well-deserved win and guys one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance it was a big time outing for Leonard and how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum changing play I thought his relentlessness really key their success and so it's Williams who brings it up for the Clippers. Pass to Shamit. Now Leonard. Right side George. And it's George finishing it off. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Williams passes to Leonard. Shamit. And it's off from three-point range. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. And Jokic slams it in. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Well, for the Clippers, they can just run out the clock. Shamit on the wing. Guarded by Harris. Here's Shamit. So the Clippers winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Paul. Congrats on the win. Where is your team's attitude right now? Continue to, you know, play together. And we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down. We'll be all right. Looked like it all came together tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you next time.